Hello YouTube, Matthew Taylor here. Actually going to be doing today a unboxing, well, how do you say, an unboxing and a quick review of my GoPro Hero 9 Black and some accessories I had, um, had gotten with it. This is the GoPro Shorty, the USB pass-through door, and oh yeah the the gopro chesty um chesty mount it's performance chest mount aka the bra and there's also a protective lens um, replacement which i probably wouldn't need to use right now but talking about protection i also forgot to include a screen protector all right so let's get to let's start with the main packaging here so this unit would have normally come in yeah so this is the packaging that it would come shipped in it will also come with a terrible case sort of similar to this uh, pretty colorful Oh, I don't have um, I don't have that to show you. So let's get to the actual unboxing process. So it comes in this semi-hard case. Uh, the firmness of the case is actually the strength of the case actually comes from this packaging material. Once you remove the material, it's well, it's still actually pretty firm. To be fair. So the reason why I say a re, re unboxing is because I've actually had this for over a week. I'd been so excited, unboxed it, used it, but totally for, forgot to actually re, um, review it. So here we'll have you know, you'll have some reading material stuff that you probably would never go through. Stickers. Who doesn't like stickers? I love stickers. Our stickers are just the icing on the cake. Um, have hmm, anybody having product questions? Uh, anytime you need to, have, if you have queries in various languages, you can go through this during your own free time when you get this. And I think I'm sure they have this posted on their GoPro's website. Put that down. Get back to what's in the box. So in the box you have a clip of, um, clippable mount. So the mount in question that they actually give you, or a bracket if you want to call it that, would be the curved one. Curved, you put it on curved surfaces. It's curved surfaces such as your helmet. So this installation for this is simple. Pull this up, clip this in, and then push this rubber piece back down yeah clip it's now put back in in place put this rubber piece back down and you're good to go i guess this becomes self-explanatory would need to go into this you have the data cable and i do this off camera data cable and charger i would not need to demonstrate how you'd use these this becomes self-explanatory as well put that down uh, talking about charging all right two things I'd mention so this is the actual camera itself it would come in this little protective little piece of paper remove that let's switch this on so you can see what's what Right, so what you saw was the, um, the number nine that, that came up, but for some reason it was just a bit short. Let me switch this off that you see it, see it again. And back on. Yeah, so the nine with the image that's actually shown, shown through the image up front is what you actually do get so you will see your image in the actual nine 
So the three denotes that actually have three clips already saved on the SD card. We're going to talk about the SD card in short order. This is the main home screen in which you can shoot at multiple um, resolutions. Here you have multiple presets and you can actually scroll through and add your preset in question. Now we'll talk about, before we even get to presets, it's very important for me to actually mention the fact that out of the box, you're going to want to determine if you want to shoot in 50, if you want to, first of all, you're going to have to determine if you want to shoot in PAL or NTSC. PAL will be uh, 25 frames per second or 50 frames per second or what have you. NTSC will give you 30 frames per second and 60 frames per second to access those many options. Oh goodness, this is not being exposed well in my camera lens. Okay, let me, you can, this looks better now. Oh my goodness, my thing is not actually, or is, is there actually color? Let's scroll back. Okay, this looks better. So you're going to go to preferences. So this setting is very important that you actually set. For those of you in the United States, you don't need to worry about this. You just simply leave it at 60 frames per second. But for those of us who reside in Jamaica and India, you would go to oh, I'm just gonna, general and then under anti-flicker. I'm covering, not covering this. Come on. Camera focus, camera focus. Sorry, my camera's just not focusing today. Yeah, so where you have 50 hertz, so oops, this is a codec. Let's go back. Uh, trying to do this while looking at the camera screen. Yeah, here we go. So because I'm in Jamaica, I actually have to select 50 hertz. So 60 hertz up front, 50 hertz down the bottom, because we have the reason for this is looking at uh, light bulbs, for instance, you will have flickering. Um, so right now, if I didn't have this at 50 hertz, let me switch this to 60 and show you what I mean. So 60 hertz, save, uh, go back, come on. to do this okay, camera so you may have noticed that there's this flickering that's happening on screen which is because I've actually exited NT I mean exited out of PAL but since we're here on the topic let's talk about the various frame rates we actually do get let's make an adjustment so these frame um, so these resolutions are applicable to you one can choose um can to go all the way up to 5k 30 frames per second if you wanted to go 4k you could do you can do 4k 60 which is fine so the mini structure for the gopro seems to be a top down arrange um, order arrangement in that you can choose you you choose your resolution your desired resolution first and then your um, desired frame rate will be shown down below if you do cho choose your frame rate first like for instance i want to shoot at 240 um, frames per second okay let's see that 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 you'll notice that my only option is 1080p so the other options are grayed out at that point so if I wanted to say, go back up to 5K, you will see that my option would be limited to 30 frames per second here, 30 frames per second or 24 sec um, frames per second, depending on what you want to do. Uh, so you can always do 4K 60 if desired. And you can always choose between um, 16 by nine or four by three. So either option is fine. Either option is fine here. Uh, this 4x3 appears to be the native 
aspect ratio for the sensor inside the unit, which still uses the, I think they refer to the GP1 chip. Um, that chip is being rumored to be replaced finally in the um, Global Hero 10 Black, one that is officially released. That's going to be an exciting time for many of us. So let me go back to the home screen. So the quick, so this menu button acts, so this acts like a power button and a, and a menu slash mode button at the same time. The shutter button is up top, just like any regular traditional camera. You would have the microphone, the microphone up top. And I do believe there exists a microphone up front here. And then there's also another microphone to one of these sides here, which acts as a, yeah, which gives you stereo. So let's talk about this speaker on this thing. This thing actually, so what we're looking at here are the two folding feet, or folding fingers rather, they call them fingers. I have no idea why. These two um, come down and then you would then attach, you would then connect this. Let's see if I can line this up. Yeah, so of course you'd have re re um, re release the screw and slide this in, put the screw in like so, and it would have held, sorry, and then it would have held, this is kind of self-explanatory. This is so sort of how it would have looked. Would need to bore you with that right now, just yet, until I get around to reviewing this particular unit. So, as it relates to the speaker, so you have a speaker, a single mono speaker on this side, and trust me, it's actually a pretty loud speaker. Pretty loud. This is made of metal, some sort of aluminum, and it really theoretically should not break. I say theoretically. I'm assuming this becomes the other microphone. So there are three microphones. Um, one, sorry, one, two, and three. And between the three of them, it actually, all right, I'll, I'll touch something here. Yeah, so between the three of them, you actually do get stereo. This actually has a very good wind I don't want to say wind resist. I don't want to say wind resistance, wind reduction feature in that natively without making any change. The let me just have this. Let me just have this speak for itself. Scroll on to wind, 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 wind. I must say it actually does work. So you may notice it's saying wind auto. This is for the microphone in question. Tap it. So it says automatically filters out, filters out um, excessive um, wind noise. Audio will switch between stereo and non-stereo when reduced um, when needed. Scroll up. Always filter out excessive wind noise. All audio will be recorded as non-stereo. So this would be mono. My phone, my camera can't focus on this right now. Let me go back. Here, so you can pause the video and see what it says. And then you can go to the extreme where that's self explanatory. For me, I will use this back on auto because it works for me. I, all right, so my, my primary um, reason for this is to do e reviews in higher quality, but the real, real reason is I could strap this on my on my drone, in which I would be able to take better quality videos in 4K, 4K 60 frames per second outdoors. And let's get, so this is, oh, so, the, so as it relates to settings now, you have three, you have three menus available to you where you can do a time let's scroll through this you can do a video just like any regular video you can do photos just like taking it with a camera this is a 20 
Enix is a 20 megapixel camera. I think it was 23 or 20.3. Or 20 I can't quite recall, but I should have noted this before starting this process. Time lapse allows you to do not slow mo stuff, but you can literally speed stuff up. I will do another video in which I demonstrate the actual, this demonstrate all of these features and the differences between them. But this unit, the battery life lasts about 90 minutes. Con I'm constantly recording for um, in 4K straight, 4K 60 frames per second will get you 90 minutes. Brightness, I've left that at about 50, 40%. Um, to do that particular benchmark. Now, let's get to. I'm just going to put this down a sec and talk about this particular unit. So this is a handheld, a handheld tripod, where you can. Let me see if I can get this in focus here. So you can see self-explanatory, it being a tripod, it can also be extended out. So one step, two step, three step. And I'm trying to get this all in focus. Just take my word for it that it actually does a good job of you propping it up on a table if you want to do a if you wanted to do a selfie or let me collapse this again if you remember the good days when selfie sticks were popular well i've never actually gotten that that um particular gotten into that particular trend but if you needed to do any form of vlogging this becomes the perfect accessory well for me the perfect accessory for doing that it is nice and portable not bulky so i've oops almost knocked my phone over All right so put this in put that in screw that in like so it takes a little bit of wiggling perfect and now oops I'm gonna loosen this up a little bit yeah so now it becomes a nice vlogging access um, vlogging item let me extend it out and if you need to vlog and do stuff you know have that ability um, to do that right there so that is one accessory i'm gonna switch this off momentarily for the other accessories i'd want to demonstrate i spoke about charging earlier and let us talk about this unit, which I'm opening for the very first time, never actually seen it myself, so you and I are going to be seeing it together all at the same time. Or simultaneously seeing it. Let me open this. Not that I do ever care about the packaging anyway. So, the idea. So let me get, before I get to this, let me talk to you about the pet peeves of the overall charging process. Take this off, put that there, put that there, put that there. Now with the charging process, this unit is a fully waterproof um, unit, go down to 10 meters or 33 feet. I will, I have not yet tested it. Once submerged, the you may be thinking about microphone holes and what's going to happen to them. They will be perfectly fine. Water can get in, but water will come out the, through this side. So this is not a door. Do not do not attempt to open it. It also says that here in the manual. Uh, this is the battery compartment slash SD card slot. These holes where the speaker and the microphone, those are also fine for water to get into it. This is the factory lens. 
just simply twist to remove and twist to put back on this was something that in the hero 8 was not actually possible so i'm happy that hooper has actually gone back to um <clears throat> doing this i had purchased um this for the purpose of in event that something happened to this i can always um, put this one back in place so this this is exactly this so this right here is exactly the same as this unit so i probably would not need to demonstrate me screwing this off and screwing it back on that is self that becomes self-explanatory all right so we're talking about water ingress and how you'd actually recharge this particular unit so because it has to be water um watertight they have covered the actual usb port itself with this battery door oh this battery door on by the name states reveals the battery so battery comes out and sd card goes inside here pop that on out what I have is a 128 gigabyte SD card. If my phone could focus, 128. SanDisk is a brand that I trust. My next brand of choice that I would probably I would be using is a San, Samsung. I'd ordered a 256 gigabyte um, Samsung SD card. I was waiting for that to arrive so that I have. I can really max out the storage space on this thing. So, as it relates to the charging, recharging process, this means that this USB port, micro USB port, which they've hidden away with the door being closed, to charge this, you have to pop the door open each time, stick your cable in. And it recharges and you can also do data transfers to your computer that is fine that should work <clears throat> yeah that that process works my pet peeve though is leaving the door like this leaving everything else here open to the elements I did not like that and the problem is that this the annoying things that this is really stiff to open each time uh, you know it's still it's still a very new door I'm guessing once it's use it um, a few times it should be fine but because i don't have long fingernails i don't have much fingernails i always cut them low it is always more damaging to my nails to keep pulling this each time so the nice one of the best things that GoPro has actually done is to design this usb pass through door which actually has i mean Take this out of the box. I'm going to pretend like I know exactly what I'm talking about, like I've seen this unit before. All right, uh, stuff here, warranty that we're not going to actually read. Um, so what they've shipped is a much longer um, USB cable, really, really long. That's nice. And this is the actual replacement door in itself, which is Funny enough, the best one YouTube reviewer had actually said this is the best thing that GoPro has actually made, and it happens to not be a camera. So the point of this particular modification or you, um, item is that this allows you to be able to keep the unit closed but at the same time, insert your USB cable. It's kind of tricky doing this, looking at looking at the, my camera screen and doing it at the same time. So this forms a nice water tight door. I would, this, they would, folks have described it as weatherproof, you know, rainproof, but not that you're gonna ever go, go take this diving, no. Don't take this diving. All right, so we'll unplug this. I'm gonna pull this door off for the very first time. It's gonna be like I'm ripping it off. This was easy. Take that off. 
put this on that was easy too nice snap that back in place perfect this is the first modification i can say i've actually done with this unit and as such the usb type c cable is i mean port is available is accessible um, to me here so how you would use this is this plugs in like so and you don't want to have you don't want to leave this hanging and dangling and possibly breaking your port so what they would do is to simply just loop it and make this part fit in the slot so you're not directly putting stress and strain on the port itself this cable is thicker than the factory cable so if you're trying to reuse the factory cable back in here it will just not work and the good thing is that this actually comes out once you tighten this up properly it's not going to be in your shot so you can record and yeah you can record and be powered at the same time this unit i mean this unit will take power by you can run on usb power only so the battery can actually be removed that's actually a very nice feature the one catch is though this unit cannot record and charge at the same time it's either or and i figure this is kind of one of the reasons why they did the door in that particular design when one useful feature is that when charging not using your computer but are using a real charger that provides at least 10 watts 5 volts by 2 amps the unit will automatically switch on connect to your wireless access point once you've already pre um paired or joined it to your network and automatically upload what you've recorded to the gopro cloud um, assuming that you have the necessary the, the 50 dollar subscription for the year yeah that will be perfectly fine let's get to the other mod so let me just get some of these things off of here get some space get some space get some space i have so much stuff on this all right so the next mod in question oh sorry this is Linked upside down. So this is a chesty performance mount by GoPro. Okay, so everything that you see here in the video I've actually spent with my own money. GoPro has not um, sponsored nor have they seen the actual content here and they do not have any form of editorial input. So this is a completely unbiased review. Let me be fancy and open this with a pair of scissors. Oh, sorry. Sorry, I'm not, not accustomed to looking through the camera for these things. All right, let's. Out. I'm doing this in such a clumsy manner. So, box, box looks like a box. That uh, more lifetime warranty stuff that I probably would never, never read. All right. So, with this, you get more things, more screws and nuts and mounts and all of that stuff. This. Okay, this looks similar. We've sort of seen this before. Take that out. Take this out. Sorry, throwing this out. This is upside down. This is right side up. So, let us talk about how we would mount this. So this now would actually be mounted. Well, you have. This is where you have the choice of mounting it upside down or right side up you can always make a change in the software accordingly as to how you want the image to appear oh talking about image this 
camera has a beautiful feature called horizon lock that can keep the horizon level so as much as you tilt the camera tilt it up to, i think you can tilt it up to 30 degrees and the horizon will still remain level in your recording once the feature is turned on it actually works great now talking about horizon leveling this also has the option of doing the there's a max lens mod option that you can get it's a um, it's a lens that you could uh, you can buy to replace this one and it will allow you to rotate the camera 360 degrees and the horizon still remains level so you can be upside upside down but the recording will still be level nice for those of us who want to go on an inverted roller coaster to ride so this snaps down like snaps down like so and then this rubber GoPro clip goes back in here trying to do this one and not one handed but oh yeah because that that clip was what I was, what I was worried about or not hearing all right so this is how it would look and let me just pull the packaging label now one thing opening every gopro um all these gopro products feel exactly like a nice apple experience when you're pulling out an iphone or a new macbook pro in my opinion um they've definitely paid attention to the padding material you could buy the economically priced um, variants of these or the copycat versions of these from like an Amazon or eBay. However, you're not going to get the actual padding and the elastic band is not going to be as stiff. The color, um, color would be a black as opposed to a dark gray in this. And of course, you don't get the patented GoPro stitching here. Stitching is going to be different. Oh, the clips and fasteners look different. This is... So I'm not going to... Alright, so let me... Kinda... So you would put this on like a... I'm not going to say a backpack. And I would not want to say a brassiere. Because I guess colloquially folks will call this the bra. But... Yeah, put this on, strap this to your chest, and then you can now see what Yeah, so you can now see literally what everybody else is um yeah, so everybody can get it from a point of view. So this is a Samsung Galaxy Note 8, by the way, just in case you were wondering that I'm using to record this once I am done. I can now use the GoPro to record, um, to do if I do a record of everything and everybody else in this regard. No, I've come to realize I'm actually recording at. Let me put this down one second. Oh, I noticed I still have the factory screen protector on. Let, it, let me just do a quick review on screen protectors that I bought for this particular purpose. Oh, whenever you touch anything, you go through any of the actual menu options, you will see it saying dashboard or it may say settings or it may say playback, for instance, while something is happening on this screen. Let me power this off one second. So powering it off by, by pressing and holding this for about three or four seconds. That's the shutter button up top. Now I have the factory screen protector on for the past week because I did not actually order any form of screen protectors at that point in time. Now that I do have the screen protector, now that I've ordered some screen protectors, I believe this was from eBay or Amazon, I can't quite recall. 
This is the description in question. That's the brand EL. I can't pronounce that. EL something something something. E L Z X U N. That's a brand. These are the screen protectors. Standard. What appears to be standard. Looking at several reviews before, is that they actually ship you two of these protectors in the packaging. So, uh, typical alcohol cleaning cloth and dry cloth here for wipes. This comes out what's inside this this is a one for the screen at the back this looks like one for the camera lens yeah for the camera lens and the other one appears to be for the other viewfinder oh sorry i got it wrong with this one they actually ship only one Oh, that's that's cold that's cold sorry i looked at another youtube review in which they shipped two of them in my case i only got one that's not nice i think i'm gonna anyway um so putting them on is self-explanatory clean with alcohol clean with alcohol then that yeah, clean with alcohol then put on the screen and you are good let me see yeah this has to be this definitely have to be this one i'll do this off camera so i don't embarrass myself if i botch this up that goes on there like so oh sorry yeah this goes on there like so This one goes on the back like so and covers this up. Clean the surface. Um, so this so what you see here is the actual factory little protective one that come that comes shipped with. Had it simply snipped off the pink tab pull tabs off of it until I got these which i now have in my possession so i'll do a change off camera so i do not embarrass myself if i was to ever get this installed incorrectly which theoretically should not happen now because i have yeah these are pretty nice and flat so battery life i would i would tell you to budget for an hour and a half 90 minutes recording 4k 60 frames per second keep the brightness down let's talk more about the settings on this particular unit now the one thing i can say about this unit it is very its operation is very self-explanatory in that you don't need an instruction manual just by going through the menu options you quickly within five ten minutes get the hang of it the moment you start recording stuff like for instance you're curious to know what slow mo does you can switch to slow -mo. oh so this here this flickering as i was explaining before this is the difference between ntsc and pal let me adjust that to set this back up so it's just back to PAL and when I say PAL I mean 50 frames per second let's go to general and where it says um, anti flicko tap that 50 hertz boom oops There you go. The image looks dark because we've selected two um two hundred frames per second. So the moment you increase the yeah, and I would need to adjust the exposure. So let me show you what 
Oh, I also need to set, adjust the white balance. So let's go standard edit. Mm. Oh no, it's my phone screen that's making the image on the camera look, on the GoPro look darker than it actually is. Hold on, let me adjust my... Let's see what's going on here. So there are several presets that are available. You can select, this is under the photo option. All underneath the photo option. But there are, there are more features, that, there are more presets here than I, than I actually use. Because primarily I just purchased this for the purpose of doing action shots, tracking this to a drone, and recording really, really good footage. I want to start uploading those footages in a separate uh, video. This video, oh wow, I didn't realize this review is taking 41 minutes to complete. Uh, just like and subscribe. Let me stop this right now. So I'm not boring you to death with rambling on about the GoPro. Have a good one.